bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Apostle Peter Daniel speaking from Nigeria. You are watching me in Heaven and Air live program. Heaven and Air live program, the one we used to do every Monday to Saturday on Zoom, where we used to expose the secret and the mystery of the darkness so that we Christian can be totally saved from this uh, uh, this dangerous world. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that the power to overcome the kingdom of the darkness and the sin therein, the Lord will give it to us in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, today, we want to talk about uh, the revelation the Lord gave to me. There's a revelation the Lord gave to me uh, uh, this morning where I want to take my bait. There's a revelation that the Lord showed to me this morning. This morning, it takes me in a trance. Please, if you are a parent, you are a parent, please listen to this message. If you are a parent, I mean, if you have children or you are going to be a parent or you are a parent or you are a teacher or you are a, a pastor's wife or whatsoever might be, you have tied in your home. This is very important. It's not something you can just overlook. It's very important. It's an important message from the Lord God Almighty. I pray the Lord, or I pray that we will not be judged in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will not send us to hell because of our children in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gave me a message to all the parents concerning the children. Concerning the children, in this morning I saw a revelation of where I saw demons that was being sent to this earth. Yes, this morning, I saw where demons are being sent to this earth. And uh, when I begin to look closely, the Satan sent them because of the children. He sent them because of the children. Children, children, please listen to this message. It's very important. Parents, please listen to these children. It's very, very, very important. Please. When I look closely, this demon, they were very many. All what they are doing is just to enter into the children of nowadays. The children of nowadays. And what I saw is this. They are lost foolish demons. This demon, the work the devil sent them to do is to enter into the children. To be doing things that is not good, like lustfulness, intercourse, like having desire for sex children having desire for sex not only that i saw clearly that this demon also entered the, the life of the, the the children to make a, a, a elderly people to have sex with the children you you might have been listening and be hearing the kind of uh, news about the elderly people raping children and uh, the father having sex with his own daughter and uh, the, 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 the different kind of stories and news that we are hearing now it is not a ordinary things is this, this demon where the one that is causing this issue in the life we have now they will enter into the children's life and any man that, that see them uh, 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 any man that is not filled with the Holy Spirit can be can be lost in lure to have intercourse with them, to have intercourse with them, and before you know, they begin to start that uh, rape, rape, rape have start happening. But the truth is that if that demon is inside the children, to cause those things to happen. Now, and also I also saw that this demon automatically program himself into the life of the children that they will begin to do some sexual uh, uh, things see children tossing their private part uh losting uh, uh, for each other i'm not talking about people who are holding children that's what i saw this morning i saw this demon in them they they, they will be doing this kind of things influencing them so i begin to wonder that why is all this thing happening because before i believe that 
the TV they are watching, I mean the movie, probably from there they are learning this kind of thing. But this one now, it's not about movie now. It's about personal programmation that this demon will just program himself or herself into their life. And they will just see themselves like lusting after themselves. Little, little children. Two, three, four, five, six years old, seven years, eight, nine, ten. Children. I mean, you children, like teenagers, small, small children. So I begin to look at why is all this thing happening. So what I was told in the spirit is that the devil sent them this demon to destroy the plans of God in their life. So that they will not be able to fulfill the plans of God in their life. There are some, the Lord told me that there are some children that he has appointed to be a priest in this end time. A prophet in this end time. By so doing, by the lustful kind of uh, things that they have set themselves into, it will, derive, it, it will take away the grace away from their life. It will take away the grace from their life. The purpose of this demon is to destroy their life from the childhood. So that by the time they grew up, they are they grew up in perfect perversions, in lost sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse. With the way I see this demon in their life, the way I don't know the next generation, how if Jesus tarries, I don't know how the next generation is going to be. It's going to be to be very worse and serious with the demon I'm seeing. Not only that, I also saw this demon in a point of uh, initiating the children to witchcraft. When one dot one one tie get witchcraft, they begin to to be, to begin to uh, 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 to begin to initiate their fellow children into that witchcraft. I see that many children are entering witchcraft, witchcraft, marine spirit, uh, every kind of this kind of a uh, dating spirit, demonic something. I saw children entering these things. Becoming an angel of the devil, angel of the darkness, so as to fulfill the plans of the darkness of the devil. So I'm saying this to so that you parents can know how to pray and how to be watchful. Because you are going to give a hand of the children you give back to. Because of your children, the Lord can send you to hellfire. If care is not taken. If care is not taken. So, I also see this kind of children. I saw this demon also making the children to become wicked. Doing things that is bad. Bad things like bad behaviors. Children, I mean children, little little children, just to program and plant the seed of the darkness into them. No wonder the Bible talk about. He said, "When man sleep, he, he said his enemy comment and sow the evil seed, change destiny. It is man, but now it's coming to children." God, the devil know that people are now responding to the gospel. So he want to start programming and destroying them from the childhood. So that by the time they grow up, they become a, 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 a wicked soul entirely. I watched a video about some days ago or some times ago. And a child was saying that he wished to become a, 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 a killer. He said he wished to kill the whole world. A small child, not even up to four years old or five years old. He said he wished to become a killer. He said he wants to kill all the whole world. He said the only person is going to live and will not kill his parent. Can you imagine? 
So this is a kind of demon that is operating in the life of children. And as a parent, if you are not careful, your children will enter them. Number two, as a parent, it is the time you're supposed to be very careful of where your children go to. Uh, but my child is an adult, uh, is, a, is a youth. Be careful. Be careful. The kind of demon that is working now is a dangerous one. It is it's a time you begin to teach them the word of God. Let them begin to groom them now. Before they destroy your life. The truth is that if you do teach them the way of the Lord, they will destroy your life yourself. I don't know how it is. The devil has just programmed things. Has programmed it to destroy the life of the children. Be careful of the TV, the movie your children watch. As a Christian, you allow your children to be watching uh, Big Brother and Jack, where they, where they are doing rubbish. You are destroying the kid's life. You'll be watching what they moving, and your children will be watching when they are carrying go, killing themselves. You are exposing him to danger. Children should not be seeing all this violent art. It makes the demon work harder in their brains to become somebody like that. Don't allow your children to be watching this kind of worldly film, all those world film, all those uh, this. Even as an ad, you self, you are not supposed to be watching it. The class of the children. Very careful of what you 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 allow your children to feed themselves with. You have to be very 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 careful, or else you will lose the identity of your children. That they have given a prophecy that your children is going to be a prophet. Or a prophetess, or a pastor, or a teacher. That, that doesn't mean it's going to come to pass if you are not careful. To make it come to pass, you have to train them in the way of God. Can't do key. Choose Cain. Use Cain. It doesn't kill people. It doesn't kill them. The Bible says, He said that Cain, it will drive out the madness in their heart. Use Cain. Don't over love. The, the truth of the fact is that if you say you love them and you don't beat them, you don't love them. Because if you love them, you will, you will want them to be a good person in life. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not sell the soul of your children to the devil. Whether you do know, children now. At the age of 11 years, 10 years, they start getting pregnant. In as much they start menstruating, we cannot even bold that children are virgin again. I mean teenagers. Those who are not up to 14 years already disvirgin. Know something that you are forgetting start involving in sexual intercourse. And as a parent, you will still be the one to go into the market to go and buy clothes. Nonsense clothes. Rubbish clothes, you go and buy it for them. Mini skirt, trouser. You say, I wear it. It's the, it's the latest clothes they are wearing now. You are the one destroying their life. You are the one. You are the one destroying their life by buying all these things for them. You want to destroy them. In your present, your child will be singing all those DVD songs. And be dancing and be twisting bottom. The bottom, the bottom, they are twisting in your present. They will go and twist it in a man's private part in their house. They will go and twist it in their party, in the party. So they are dancing. You two are laughing. Say, hey, my daughter can dance. Oh, hey, my big boy can dance. Big boy, hey, see how he's dancing like this and there. Hey, he's dancing like a uh, like go. Hey, see, hey. You go cry if care is not taken. 
Because you are pushing them into danger. The time we are, it's not a matter of a religious matter. The only thing that can save the children is to bring them in the way of the law. Finish. If they are not in the way of the laws of the Lord, you will lose them. Because the deed now, the attitude, the kind of behavior they are doing now is no more ordinary. It is influence. It is manipulated into their system. It is manipulated into their body. Nobody teaches children to lie anymore. And they know what lies. They can lie. They can steal. You be you will see a young girl of 44 years old. It will it will be it will see it will be singing lyrics of all this worldly singer from A to Z. But tell him to read Psalm 23. He cannot read. He cannot read. He cannot even recite it. If you don't train your children in the way of the Lord, the Lord will judge you. You cannot make it to heaven because you are going to give account. You are like an agent. You know, when a, when a landlord builds a house, he will put agent there to come and help him to you know rent it out. Agents go there, you will just go there and go and take care of the house, see how the house is going. You are same thing. The Lord is their, is their father. And you are going to give account of everything you do. Be careful so that your children will not be raped. The generation we have now, the demon that is working is rape. So that your children will not be lost for. Eh? We, we are seeing different kind of video of a young girl who... who, who ah, ta, 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 ta. You cannot imagine at, at the age of uh, seven years, six years old, primary school children are having boyfriend, girlfriend, kissing themselves. <laughs> what do you think is going on? I, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the wisdom you needed to take these children to heaven, the Lord God will give it to you in Jesus' name. Because of your children, you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. My name will be Apostle Peter Daniel. This is the revelation the Lord gave to me about the children and about the parents. Please, obey. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obey. Obey. The Lord God bless you in Jesus' name. If you want to talk to me, or maybe probably you want to join our program, the program deliverance program you used to do, if probably you are passing through problems and you want us to do deliverance for you, uh, you can join our Navigate prayers, which we used to do by 2 a.m. Nigeria time to 3 a.m. Nigeria time every day. Every day. So try and join it. And uh, you can also join our Heaven and Hair program, the one we used to, you know, speak, you know, the Lord where God has been revealing revelations. So you can join us too. That one is every day too, 9 a.m. To 10 30 a.m. every day. You can also join our service on Sunday. You do that one online. You can join our service. I pray you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. And if you want to ask any question or you want to support this program, you want to support us in any way, you can contact me on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, plus 234. 81389662867 God bless you amen